Hey guys, it's Ashley from Not A True Reviews and today I'm unboxing the Freedom Japanese Market Box for July. I know I am so late. I'm still doing vacation catch up and just with the kids here. But anyway, I'm doing it. Um, this is going to be a tasting review. If you're not familiar, I've done this box before. It's a fun box. Um, they do have three options. There's the Poochie, which is like their mini. There's the original, which is this one. And then there's a family, which is double this. And I think this one is $25. Um, I'll put all the pricing down below. Um, and then I'll also link to my full blog review and I'll also link to Freedom Japanese Market with my affiliate code um i'm really excited each box comes with its own origami and since this is going to be a tasting review i know what's in here already so i opened it up to take my pictures all right so our little origami this was for um the month of july is a little it's called a hoppy coat traditionally worn during summer festivities currently in full swing in japan so this is like uh during the tanabata the festival of stars and all that hold on one second guys my little light is not looking at me. Mm. And then everything that's in this box is listed here. It also tells you what's in the other box, the Poochie box. Like if this is in this box and not in the Poochie box, then it'll tell you that. All right, so let's just go right in with this thing. Maybe it's a taffy? I don't know. I think I broke it doing that. <laughs> it's some sort of a candy stick. It's like a really long stick. Oh, this gum. Oh no. Of course, that's my luck. I opened the gum first. It's gum, it's like fruity. It tastes like bazooka. Maybe a little more fruity. It's really good though. Okay. These boxes are great if you like, like candy and like snacks. Like I love snacks. So this is onigiri. It looks like it's gonna be spicy because that guy looks like he's up to trouble. Am I right? Let's find out. They're like little crackers. They smell like soy sauce. It's pretty good. We'll look at the paper after. It's important to note that each of the original and family pa packs come with DIY candy kits. Um, this one is like a little fish, colorful piece fish pack. It looks like we're going to be making like little jellos almost, like little jello molds. I'll do that with the kids. Okay, so there's two of these like little gummy bottles. We'll eat one, right? There's like a little muscle guy on <laughs> it. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Ah, can I get it out? There it goes. It smells like pineapple. Definitely pineapple flavored. It's delicious. Okay, where are we now? This looks like. I think this is gum too. It's like this little watermelon. I can feel it. Feels like gum, like little chiclets or something. We're not gonna open that. Cause then I feel like I wasted it, you know. All right. So here's some sort of a corn, lucky cone. Looks like a corn puff. Some sort of a corn puff. Don't know what flavor yet, but we're gonna find out, right? It's raining here, so I feel like I'm not like my energy is lacking. I'm sorry if it appears that way. Oh, it is. These are really sweet. These are good. Mm, okay. We gotta move on. I'll stay there eating those forever. Alright. This is something. Something chocolatey. Could be hazelnut, too. Not sure. There we go. Ooh, it smells like cocoa pebbles or cocoa crisps or whatever they're called. It looks like it too, look. Tastes just like Cocoa Crisps. That's crazy. Is that one of them? Cocoa Crisps? Mmm. All right, is this gum? We're gonna find 
hair on me. Yuck. Looks like it might be gum, but we're gonna try it anyway. Takeoka. Nope. It's like a. Ooh. They're like. You know what? Whoppers malted milk or whatever. It's like that. But strawberry. You see? No, really good. That is cool. Those are delicious. All right. Moving along. Here. Creamy Kalan. These are like. I don't know what these are yet. Let's find out. YOLO. You only live on Mondays. YOLO. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a bag in a box. Okay, so these are like wafery, tapery, like that how like thin. I'm like a ooh, it's lemon cream in the center. These are good. Oh my goodness. Okay. I know my bow. This one. I don't know the flavor. It's a guy kicking a soccer ball. We go find out. Like butter. Maybe it's like Hokkaido, you know, Hokkaido, like a milky buttercream. That might be that. And then there's this one, which I'm just gonna guess it's cheese. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here. <laughs> flavor it's like barbecue like a grilly grilled flavor kind of crazy that was actually really good um this one's my favorite all right we're almost down there so here's some atsuma mitimi i don't even want to pretend i'm i can say that but it's like those like the rice crackers and peanuts i'm not gonna open this i'll say this because it's a, a mixture with a glaze on it. It probably has a soy flavor, I'm gonna guess. There is writing on the back, but it's not in um, Japanese. It looks like it's in another language like that has, um, like maybe Italian or something? I don't know, I'm trying to see there. All right, so then we have our final item, which is this huge, I'm actually really excited because this is Tejado. I'm not as big on the sweet as I am on the savory and the umami flavors. So this is Tejado, it's Urakara, and it looks like it's garlic flavored. So this will be, and look at that back of it. it smells garlicky. Yes, this is good. All right, let's look at our paper. The sugar rusk umaibo. So it's a twice baked sugary bread flavored puffed corn. That was the one that was sweet. The little pink, these guys here. This is called Ichigo Mugi. Strawberry flavored chocolate shaped to look like tiny pieces of grain. Very cool. Those were good. Fun candy. All right. Gayutan umaibo. These were all in both the Pucci and the original box. So these came in the smaller box. This is tastes like cow tongue. Whoa. Um, this was actually really good though. <laughs> okay. What's next, guys? What's next? Onigiri Senbei. Where's that one? Oh. This guy here. Um, these are crackers shaped like rice balls, soy sauce flavored. Totally nailed that one. Uh, Lucky Cane was this corn. Where'd you go, corn deal? Did I put it back in? Oh, here it is. Uh, deliciously salty bite-sized pieces of puffed corn. So that's all they say about that one. Um, and then the cream kalan 
is lemon flavored sweet wafers. So there's that. I was right. They were lemon flavored. I could tell. All right. <laughs> okay. Moving right along. Okay. This is, oh, these are watermelon. Oh, I thought these were gum. They're not. They're little watermelon flavored ramune candies that look like seeds. They're supposed to look like watermelon seeds, which is really cute. Orakara corn, the Tejado, um, garlic flavored, savory curls of puffcorn. And then these are the vit gummy vitamin C. Get your daily dose of vitamin C in a chewy gummy form. This is really popular, I noticed, in um, uh, other countries getting vitamin in candies, which is very cool. If you can, if this is how you get your kids to take it, do it. All right, so we're now in this. Since the Tejado, Tejado only came in the the regular box and then the family pack, um, as well as the vitamin C and everything from this point on. Uh, so the Coco Bolo, we dare you to eat just one of these cocoa flavored puffs. I ate four, so they win. Um, the DIY candy kit, make your own gummy sea creatures, just add water. Atsumami time, soy sauce flavored mini size rice crackers. Where did it fit? Here it is. There you are, little friend. And then finally, the soda gum. That's a bonus. This soda flavored stick of gum is extra long and extra delicious, and I just dropped it. Right out of the packet. So that is everything I received in my Freedom Japanese Market. I love this box. It's so much fun. Um, please do check out my full blog review below, and also check out Freedom Japanese Market. And as always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.